YouTube Nation, Archie here, back to uh, close the story of my weird dream revealed. This is definitely a true story, believe it or not. Um, <clears throat> 1977, I believe, was the year I tried to look up on uh, in the newspaper at the Air Library. We are now in Air, Massachusetts, but I could not find the story, and um, I have now found out that it was not a man that drowned in the backyard of my house on 52 East Main Street. It was a boy. That is why I could not find the uh, article. Probably, it might have been in the police log. It might have not been be due to, you know, how the fact is of kids' age and not to reveal anybody's name and age at that time or any time. But it is, uh, I did talk to the uh, secretary of the chief of police in the air police department and she too remembers the story and told me it was a boy and I'm uh, concluding that he was at least around the age between 9 and probably 13 and um, I do not know no more than that she could give me no more information that she could not really remember but of course like I said back then and even now today you're not supposed to reveal kids of that age um, so, but he, this was an old mental institution and he was a disabled child. Why he ran away, I probably will never know due to the fact, of course, I cannot find the article in the newspaper. And if I was to look, I spent two hours looking. The police logs were too tiny to see, so I probably would have been there, you know, four, ten hours just looking up a name, but at least I got some, I might try and maybe get an interview with this secretary to make my story legit. But other than that, this is a true story. I had a dream in the house at 52 East Main Street that a boy drowned or someone was drowning in it. I went to the window, you know, and, I'll re and, um, and I'm showing you the way, the route here. There is paths out in that yard there down the hill. But I'm going to show you the route that he could have taken besides the woods over there, which I'm not going to go to, but he could have went this way, escaped the mental institution, and went down as far as my backyard on 52 East Main Street, which is a pond, and I also found out that pond is called Schoolhouse Pond, and the King Philip War, back in the 1600s, um, King Philip marched along that um, pond. I found that out too. And <laughs> due to a lot of Indians, um, he, um, I mean, there's another story I gotta go over and do, but the King Philip War and the Indian War back in the 1600s was near that pond. He marched literally past it, but <clears throat> anyways, I mean, there's another road down here that, um, that could have been a way that he walked to that led to the woods and leads to that path down there which is a dead end but um over here like I said if he wanted to walk the main streets he could have went this way too um so it is it is a legit story he did come down here which I'm going to show you the actual pond and even that pond as we speak as a child I used to cross it over the winter to go to walk to school I used to play constantly in that pond when I was a child too so I mean yeah, there was a road over here on my left that leads to a road over here that he could have went down um, which is Adam Street and uh, I mean yeah I used to do everything at that pond catch frogs um, do everything that you could just imagine of a kid make paper boats all the things that I did at that pond fishing ice skating anything you can imagine and think of now I'm, I'm assuming that you know all over here is factories and buildings and the train tracks are over here too and um, anywhere along the line here he could have walked in uh, went right across you know the train tracks to get them the backyard of my pond um I think I'm gonna try over here just get uh, 
we at right here? Um, I'm going to do a quick run by on where he could have been and went. Uh, hang on a sec. You stay right there, boy. So you can get no ice cream. So I'll get down here and make it quick. But yeah, this... I mean, I think more down that way. There's too many factories, people around to uh, get there. But um, I'm going to take this route. So bear with me a moment. So I can get down here. I mean, it's caught up in some vines. I mean, down the other way, there is more paths that lead to the um, railroad track. So, like I said, bear with me. I'll get through here. Um, let me make sure I don't bump my phone off. But, anywhere along down here, he could have came across the pond where them trains are. Hang on a sec. Gotta get my phone. The sun's beaming in this direction. Anywhere where them trains are, that's where the pond starts about almost to the bridge. Now, over here is the pond. It is all there used to be a path over here when I was a kid, back 79, 80. And when I was a kid, I used to take the school. And, um, it's all grown in now. Uh, hang on a sec. But like I said, anywhere along this, he could have came in. He must have thought this was a swimming hole. Because there are other ponds in this area, including Sandy Pond, which is a swim hole that's uh, roughly about three miles down the way on the road I was just on. Huh. Go figure. This is the actual place where I used to come through winter time over the ice. To walk. And the reason why I know this damn vines is because the same stone has been sitting here since I was a kid. And I used to walk across here. <laughs> I just found the exact path that I used to walk. Now, down here, along this ridge, as you can see over here, let's see if I can zoom in. If you can see that blue house over there, that is 52 East Main Street. It is now all covered in. They don't even go out in the backyard no more. But that area right in here, if you can see it in the middle of where the windows are, that used to be all cleared out. And that's where I used to play. I used to ice skate. I used to do everything on this pond. Skip rocks, catch frogs, everything. And like I said, I believe it was 1977 that the kid came down here, thought this was a swim hole, and he drowned. Now, up in them windows is, on the first floor, there's three windows, if you can see them, one, two, three. That's the kitchen. And in the last window that you can see, if you can see it, um, that's where I was... In the kit, well, all them three windows belong into the kitchen, but I heard I was sitting at the table that sets up against the wall to your left if you're looking in the window there. And I heard, help, help, help. I looked out that window, pitch black, nothing. You know, just to go over this story again. And like I said, I looked out the windows, pitch black, but I just keep hearing help 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 and this dream occurred in 1982 just before I moved out of that place where my mother and father split 
And I don't know if it was a cry for help from him telling me that, I don't know, I must have had encounters with this kid. And up in the corner, I don't know if you can see it, there's a window up in the top on your far right, I mean left, sorry, it was my old room. And I don't know if his spirit came and played with me out here or whatnot. Whatever it was, he communicated with me in a dream. Um, it, it just freaks me out totally every time I think of this. And I just can't believe that I walked right into the uh, exact spot where this stone still sits where I used to walk. And this used to be all cleared out. It was a path to walk through. Fucking crazy, man. But if he is here, I'd like to tell the boy, hey, um, if you did play with me as a child, you know, shit, I had fun. I must have, you know, who knows if I communicated with him. I know I did in a dream. He must have not have wanted me to move or knew I was moving or maybe had that feeling. But this is definitely a dream that has been open for many years, I never told my family, I never told my friends. And come to find out in 2013, I called this woman at the station and she remembered it and it's true. So anyways, other than that, YouTube Nation, this dream is true, real. If you don't believe it, don't. But hey, i am definitely got something going. But I am out and you all take care and... Ghosts do exist. And yeah, I gotta get out of here, but ghosts do exist. I can't believe I found that spot. Other than that, YouTube Nation, out.